the authorities in Mexico have stepped up security in the north of the country following the capture of a major drugs baron on Saturday. The Interior Ministry said it wanted to deter any violence from drug cartels seeking to expand their influence after the arrest of Mario Ramirez Trevino. <laughs> Mario Ramirez Trevino is facing up to 40 years in jail after being arrested. Ramirez Trevino is said to be the head of the cocaine and marijuana smuggling Gulf cartel. He was captured on the US-Mexico border. Mario Ramirez's arrest in the north of Mexico comes barely a month after the arrest of another alleged drug cartel leader in July. It's clear that the Mexican government is targeting these top leaders of these cartels in the north of Mexico. It's unclear, though, whether these arrests are going to bring down levels of violence because these cities and these states where they reign in the north of the country are basically no-go zones for average citizens here in Mexico. Many people are afraid to leave their house, sometimes in daylight hours. There's not many reports of what's going on to be trusted in the press because the press is either sometimes bought off or threatened not to publish what they see happening in those communities. And the only way many of these people know what's going on in their communities is from anonymous bloggers. Meanwhile, the government is immersed in a, a military battle with the cartel in the west of the country. This cartel, the Knights Templar, has been extorting, pressuring people in that region, making money not just off drug smuggling and drug production, but also through threatening and charging protection money. Now, community police groups have sprung up in that area, and the military has tried to take arms from those groups and is also trying to push that cartel out. But so far, they're not having much success. In fact, on Saturday, more than 20 bodies were found in that region, so we're only seeing more and more violence take place there now.